Hey, this is Kenneth, and today I'm going to light up an LED using MQTT. MQTT is, in the least ironic way possible, an Internet of Things protocol. MQTT is designed to, you have various hierarchical topics, right? And so for this, I'm going to be using the KWF slash demo slash LED topic. And you have what are called brokers, which are essentially the servers. And you have multiple, you have, you know, one or many devices that can publish messages to a topic. And then you can have one or more devices that subscribe to the topic. So in this demo today, what I've got, I've got a Raspberry Pi here running Raspbian, right? The, their spin of Debian. Um, subscribed to this KWF demo LED topic. And it's looking for any colors. I'm, it's looking for the words red, yellow, or green. And it's hooked up to three LEDs, like so. So I've got I.O. pins 11, 12, and 13. Each one of them is wired up to an LED, red, yellow, and green. Goes through a resistor, which is 330 ohms. And then goes back to one of the ground pins. Right, and so it's now listening to this topic on the uh, public Mosquito MQTT broker. And so anyone that publishes a message to it causes it to light up one of these three LEDs. Um, right now I just have it lighting up these three LEDs and I thought this is a good place to show it, uh, where the eventual goal is I want to have it light up one of these stack lights, as I actually have one of these at work in my cubicle, and the three colors indicate where I am, you know, if I'm, you know, not working, or if I'm in the lab, or if I'm at my cube, so my coworkers can just look up and see if they can come over and bother me in the cube, or if they need to go hunting for me. Um, this is going to replace that with an internet connected status light. So anyways, we've got these three LEDs here, so we need some way to publish to it. On Android, uh, I've found this application I like called MQTT Dashboard. And yes, my screen is broken. Um, in the MQTT Dashboard, you can uh, connect to various servers. So I've got a connection to test.mosquito.org. Uh, you can subscribe to topics or publish topics. And so here on the publish, I have created a new widget, which is just four buttons um, that send red, yellow, or green, or send none of those to turn the lights off. So we see if I send a red message, the red LED turns on. If I send a yellow message, the yellow LED turns on. If I send a green, the green one turns off, on, and if I press none, they all turn off. So at this point, um, the concept is all I have to do is replace these LEDs with transistors so that I can light up the 24 volt stack lights instead of the two volt LEDs, which you know are a little bit easier to show, right? But so that's it. Um, so on the Android side, I just downloaded MQTT bat dashboard and just through the interface added this little widget, right? So if we click and hold on it, edit, um, you might be able to see LED demo, KWF slash, all right, so that's the name of it, that's the topic I subscribed to, and here are the buttons I created, right? So we'll save that, and there it is. On this side, I've got about, I don't know, 15 lines of Python that are set to run when the Raspberry Pi first turns on, and all it does is it subscribe, it connects to this server, subscribes to this topic, and every time it receives a message, it parses it for um, any of, you know, for red, yellow, or green. So you can actually light up multiple LEDs at once. So, we, so I'll show you. So if we edit this and we add a new item, the new item is red, green, add. Now there should be five buttons. So now if I press red, green, it'll light up both the red LED and the green LED. So MQTT is a super awesome protocol. I've been meaning to do something with it for a long time. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys do something fun with MQTT yourself. Bye.